very heavy. Can I, can I have some? Can I come from the bay when they really go dumb? I'm Gerald, I ain't just anyone. Yeah. Uh, Instagram DM a video she in. Better not post, I'm the only one seeing. Stick out her tongue when she trying to put me in. Makes light skin since she black and Korean. She, she go, I'm different, but we know. My diamonds are San Pellegrino. She said she need blow, she roll up a casino. But slow down, little baby, you going Pacino. quiet back at it again you already know what time it is the world's greatest goddamn streamer get your popcorn ready ladies and gentlemen because we are back with another goddamn classic everything is crazy right now if you've been living under a rock let me let you guys know that Chantel is moving back to kuwait after being in Kanae and canada for like a week and a fucking half and let me tell you the reactors have lost their damn minds <laughs> i i I always thought that these people hated this woman. <laughs> she took seven days off. They lost their brains. <laughs> she's been gone for another like four. <laughs> now she's going back to Kuwait and they can't. Why? Why? Why is she going back? She doesn't need. Wait, I thought you don't care about this woman. <laughs> why do you give a fuck? <laughs> yes. Like Randy Watson. <laughs> Man. I mean, they're losing their minds. You got to understand what's going on, ladies and gentlemen. Now, you remember the first time, you remember the first time when Foodie Beauty took that seven days off, FFG, FFG at 3 a.m. in the morning cut off all her fucking hair, right? Remember that? Remember that? She took, she took seven days off and FFG cut her hair off at 3 a.m. And now all of a sudden, now all of a sudden, Foodie Beauty takes another four days off, and guess what happens? Guess what happens? Guess what happens? She takes another four days off, and guess what happens? She gets a fucking parking ticket. Yeah, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. 
she gets a fucking parking ticket that costs about $500 to $600 at work. She parked in front of somebody's goddamn car that she wasn't supposed to park in front of. <laughs> this is what happened. Let me show y'all real quick. Hold on. Let me throw this up here real quick. Uh, let me throw this up here. She got a goddamn parking ticket. I can't believe it. <laughs> here she is right here. Mm. And she goes off and she rages at somebody. Now, here she is. Uh, if your job is giving out parking tickets. <laughs> the, <laughs> now, now, I don't know where you guys work at, but this woman's been working at her job for a long period of time. She knows where she can and she cannot park. OK, but all of a sudden, this is a different kind of FFG. Ever since Foodie Beauty's been gone, she hasn't been able to focus. So now she show up to work with the steel toes, with the no back one of the Adidas. She had her Adidas track suit on, right? And she drove up to work, right? And parked in front of somebody or in, so, in a space she wasn't supposed to, you know. She, 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 she was parked in a space where she wasn't supposed to. She got closer just to make that walk to whatever, to the beach, where she had to um, uh, create steel. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what this woman does. <laughs> First of all, just it's crazy to show up one day with a ponytail and then the next day show up to work ball-headed. I mean, <laughs> that's a worker I don't want to deal with, right? <laughs> that's somebody you see, you'd be like, damn, she was... She had full head of hair yesterday. Okay, I'm the, I'm the, I'm gonna do my job and shut the fuck up. <laughs> well, anyway, <coughs> FFG decided to go to work again. Foodie Beauty's been gone, so she's been raging. She's been she's she hasn't been focused, so she decided to show up to work and and park right in front of somebody <laughs> and get a three hundred and sixty five dollar ticket. That's crazy. <laughs> I don't know what kind of parking you did. <laughs> she parked in the handicap. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> She probably thought she, she, you know, she thought, hey, man, I got these steel toes with no backs in them. I'm, I think I got to I think I deserve to park in the handicap. I don't know. But if your job is giving out parking tickets, I hope you hate yourself. I hope it rains on all your days off. I hope you stub your toe on your bed every morning when you wake up for work. I hope your wife cheats on you with a big deal. God damn. <laughs> She said that shit out loud. <laughs> she said that out loud. If your work is giving out tickets. <laughs> uh, are you? And then somebody replied. Jen did. Um, she rep Jen replied and she said, are you no just an idea? You park the way you, sh you should and let people do their job. That's all this person said. This person just said, listen, ma'am. Maybe you should park correctly and let people do their job and you wouldn't have to worry about getting a ticket at work. FFG's reply, again, I told y'all that ever since Foodie's been off and not streaming every day, not going live, not putting up videos, FFG has not been the same, right? So here she is. Or you know just an idea. You shut the fuck up because nobody gives a shit about your opinion. God damn. <laughs> You can't even be a fan. <laughs> you can't be a fan. And people try to tell you. And these morons that watch for FFG, all these idiots out here try to tell you she's nothing like Foodie Beauty. That's what these all these morons say. I'm speaking to all you FFG fans. All of y'all idiots. Y'all said she nothing like Chantel. Look at this rage. Look at how, look at how impulsive she is. That's all she does. She can't even go to work correctly. Getting mad at people, getting mad because she got a ticket because she was in the wrong. And guess how she going to make up when she got to get a $365 ticket? Guess who going to have to pay for that ticket? Her fan. <laughs> that's, why, that's why FFG's been going hard. That's why FFG's been doing double time on her lives to pay this ticket, y'all. FFG tried to go around and say that Foodie Beauty putting up a PayPal and a Cash App in a community tab is a scam. I never let, let, let me say that again because I I've seen this everywhere and everybody do it. I've never heard this before, but FFG was is running around telling the world. That Foodie Beauty putting a PayPal 
a PayPal and a Cash App in her community tab is a scam. How? How was that a scam when everybody does it? Well, mostly everybody. How was that a scam? The, you know what a scam is, FFG? What you do is a scam. What you do is to manipulate your zombie moronic audience to make them believe that you're holier than thou when you're just like Foodie Beauty and you rage and you go crazy. And when anybody questions anything that you do wrong, you give this kind of response to them people. You give them the fuck off. You've been a fan of me for 12 years and you've been donating to my stream, but you think I do some racist fuck off. Shannon was my homie, smoked blunts with just to get closer to a uh, foodie beauty. But as soon as she not supporting me and her boyfriend says some racist shit about immigrants, fuck off. That's what she does. But she tries to create this whole thing and manipulate her audience to making them believe that she's nothing like foodie beauty. But her actions... Her actions prove that she is that Cuba rage foodie beauty. She is. No one just normally cuts their fucking hair off because they're so mad and they're having a bad day. No one just parks in front of people and gets a ticket and then rages at her job for giving them a ticket because she was in the wrong. And then when people ask her about it, she wants to give them the fuck off. And what is this all coming from? Where is all this craziness coming from FFG? All this is coming from is because Foodie Beauty has not been showing her attention. She hasn't been feeling the love. This woman claims she has a lumberjack, but damn, look at all this craziness going on. You got a, you got a man at home. Why are you cutting all your hair off? Why are you getting $346 parking tickets at work and then raging at your job? All this is because Foodie Beauty took seven days and now she's taking another four or five days. And let me tell y'all something out there, all you fucking FFG zombies. And I want to talk to y'all for a second. Has this ever since Foodie Beauty's taken a break of been flying back and forth and going here and there and haven't been streaming? Has FFG moved subjects? Has she? Has she? Has she? Has she said, you know what? I, Foodie Beauty ain't been doing shit. So let me move to something else. Has she done that? Hell no. She's been foodie beauty 24 hours, even when the woman ain't even online. That just tells you this woman got no content. She's dog shit. And she needs you morons to pay her bills. And y'all do it. <laughs> even the toothless one. <laughs> but I find it hilarious. <clears throat> she got a ticket. She raged, like she always does, about getting a ticket. Then she raged as people asking questions. <sighs> and then, and then she, uh, hold on, let me read that. Uh, thank you for the $2, uh, Michelle. She's bald now after the parking ticket. <laughs> a bald woman getting a parking ticket is crazy. <laughs> I don't think I would ever give Missy Elliott a ticket. I don't think I would. <laughs> I would let her slide. I can only imagine her raging at the person that was giving her the ticket. Because <laughs> you remember, it was at work, right? <laughs> she, was, she was knocking down steel. <laughs> and then somebody said, hey, uh, uh, FFG, I think uh, somebody, you're getting a ticket. <laughs> oh, what? Ah! How dare them? <laughs> and imagine you're a park. Uh, uh, imagine, you know, you're a peace officer and you uh, and you're giving a, putting a ticket on this woman's uh, fucking uh, <laughs> Acura. <laughs> right. And and all of a sudden you see this big woman come downstairs with 13 chins <laughs> and some steel toe Adidas with some with a tracksuit on. <laughs> you hop back in your car fast as fuck, didn't you? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. <laughs> come here, motherfucker. <laughs> Foodie ain't been, I ain't seen Foodie in five days. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Get your motherfucking ass. <laughs> she so is fast with that tracksuit. <laughs> That's why she got a tracksuit on, y'all. <laughs> Anytime she got to chase down a motherfucker, right? <laughs> she, 
and the and, and and she goes barefoot. That's why she got uh that's why she got those steel toes with no uh with sti- uh slide in slide steel toes. That's why she got the slides. <laughs> so she kicked them bitches off when she got to run after a nigga. <laughs> Where you going, bitch? Ah! Ah! Oh shit! Nigga was like, nigga got in his car. It was like the Jurassic Park moment. The nigga in the Jeep and the big ass fucking T Rex running after you. Go, nigga, go! How dare you give me a ticket? Oh, motherfucker, I hit the gas. <laughs> I'm going as fast as I could, motherfucker. This woman's fast. <laughs> uh, that tracksuit, I'm telling y'all. <laughs> She's fast as hell. <sighs> but, like I said, <clears throat> all these people out here, <clears throat> all these fucking stupid fans <laughs> of FFG don't make no sense. This woman has not moved content. Ever since Foodie Beauty's been less and less online, less and less doing videos. You would have thought she moved on by now, but she hasn't. Matter of fact, when Foodie Beauty don't post up a video or make a video, she talks about Foodie Beauty, where she at, where she possibly, what she's possibly doing, how she's doing it, da 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 da, all this concern. And then at the end, she plays an old Foodie Beauty video. Wow. And you talk about scams. You're the biggest scammer on the fucking internet. We're talking about e-begging here. You're the one that took a goddamn cat and then talked about, oh, I got the cat. Oh, I get in the Gucci fucking necklace. Oh, I got it at home and ain't provided one video of this fucking cat. And if anybody that gave money to FFG for this fucking cat and then ask, please, FFG, can we see the cat? Can we get video evidence? FFG fucks off. Fuck off. It don't matter if you gave her $200, $300 for BBJ. You haven't seen BBJ but one time. What, 15 seconds of it on the fucking floor eating some snack, not even moving? And some still photos? And she wants to talk about scams on the internet? She's the biggest scammer here. <laughs> God. Take my credit card, FFG. You got BBJ and he's safe. How do you know that? <laughs> Has she turned her camera on? You see BBJ running around having the time of his life? Fuck no. She doesn't even turn her camera on. The fact that the person that got BBJ doesn't even get on cam is crazy. And y'all don't even understand that. She doesn't vlog. She doesn't get on camera. But she, she just tell you, hey, the cat's safe. Don't worry about it. And then all of a sudden we hear the cat in the fucking closet and she, she made a lie about it. And then we said, hey, wait a minute. That is a cat. Then she had to come forward and say, no, I was at my brother's house with some bullshit. She's a liar. Just like Just Breezing and the rest of them. They all do the same thing. Now, here is, <clears throat> here is my girl, FFG today. Like I said, she's lost her brain cells ever since Foodie Beauty left for the second time. <laughs> she could handle it. She could barely handle it the first time. She went bald-headed. Now, F- Fo- now uh, Foodie Beauty's gone for the second time. Remember, Foodie Beauty left. I mean, Foodie Beauty left the first time, seven days. Hair cut, chopped off. Second time, parking infraction. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, man. Here we go. FFG, talk to us. For making a farce out of people's religion, for making a farce out of yourself, uh-huh. and for scamming the audience that has kept you fed, homed, and clothed in the wow. massive draperies that you call clothing wow. for years at this point. Talk to us. The nerve of you, Chantal. Ooh, mm. tonight's gonna be ugly. Hello, girl gang. How's it going? Look how mad she is. Foodie hasn't even gone. She's been off four days. Seven days before, four days now. And today's gonna be ugly. Y'all having a good night? I hope you guys are having a good day, night. What? Well, oh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Welcome to the slaughter. <laughs> Extra toe pondu. Hello. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the super chat. Today is your birthday. Well, happy birthday f- to you from me. <laughs> I'm I'm pissed. What are you pissed uh, about? It is what it is, but don't let it put a damper on your birthday. Lord of the Fruit Flies, thank you for the super chat. I want to know what you pissed about. Fries was right. Watch this. Uh-huh. Always. What you pissed about? Always. See, this is why I didn't want to get my hopes up. Oh. Why? I had a feeling. <laughs> Why? She's just so predictable. It's not so much a feeling as her predictability. 
predictability, uh -huh. you know? Yeah, yeah. What Didi, not Didi, thank you for the super sticker. I appreciate it, girl. Uh huh. Yeah, Bonnie, sure. hello. Thank you for the super chat. Have oh, wait a minute. FFG mad because the woman that she hates is no longer close to her? <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck gets mad about a person that's on the internet? <laughs> he, she, she, I got my hopes up that she was going to stay here. <laughs> What? <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm seriously asking y'all. How the fuck does people watch this clown? Like, like seriously. You got your hopes up that she was going to stay? And you're mad that she left? <laughs> Do you want to be with her that bad? <laughs> Do you want to move that? <laughs> I've never seen nothing like this. I'm confused. <laughs> Somebody I hated, like fucking all of a sudden flew back home, right, and got closer to me, and I hated this person, and then they left. I wouldn't be mad that they leave. <laughs> but F FFG's so mad, so angry. <laughs> Go ahead. Have been able to catch alive in way too long, getting married tomorrow. I'm a lovely little Jewish girl, and my fiance is Greek. Ah, oh, bravo, muzzle tub. I love that mix. You know I love that mix. Uh, Congratulations, girl. That's fantastic. Ah, oh, bless. <laughs> a little good news on this shitty, shitty Chantal, Chantopolis day, I suppose. Uh-huh. <sighs> All right. Talk Let's to me. Let's get into it. Bonnie, again, Come on. congratulations. That's fantastic, girl. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. What's wrong? What's so wrong here's the thing. Do? Chantal's what? leaving. Everybody knows. Everybody's heard. She's going back to Kuwait. Okay. Right. right. Okay. Okay. So the other day when she put up her PayPal... Uh -huh. On the screen, uh -huh. specifically because she needed to set up a home again, right? What home was she setting up? She already knew that she wasn't going to be staying. She knew exactly what she was going to be doing. Home again. She said that somebody asked for her PayPal, and so she provided her PayPal. And Cash App. Whoa. <laughs> Go ahead. So... By putting up your PayPal right. under false pretense, <laughs> telling your audience to help you set up a home, furnish your new home, you get them all excited. You know damn right that everybody in your audience, Shanta, all the Beezers, want the Kuwait arc to be over. No, 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 no. <clears throat> the Beezers don't want the Kuwait arc to be over. You want the Kuwait arc to be over. You want her closer to home. You want her closer to you. So you can be around her. Nobody else gives a fuck. Why do you give a fuck about this woman so much? Who gives a shit if she puts up a community tab and she puts her PayPal and Cash App up there? That's her business. And if anybody wants to donate to it, that's on them. Why is that your concern? We... We talk about the scamming that you do on your channel for super chats to, manu to, 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 to brainwash these zombies. But at the end of the day, that's the zombie. We clown the zombies. That's them. They want to give you money because they think that you're a good person and you're nothing like Chantel. That's fine. But we laugh at these idiots because you're just like her. And I'm not talking about today, Chantel. I'm talking about Cuba Rage Chantel, the bald head, okay? The ready to bust a window out Chantel. That's the vibes you giving us, FFG. You giving us those vibes. You cutting your hair at 3 in the morning. You lying about creating a cameo, talking about it was somebody else that created a cameo, but then you found out how to get into that other person's cameo. When you, we all know at 3 a.m., you created that cameo. You giving us, you giving us these lying, raging, crazy Chantel Cuba vibes. The only difference is we just can't see your face. Because if, if she turned her camera on and we can honestly get a glimpse of how FFG looks so messed up. And when she talks and she rages, 
we would go, God damn, that reminds us of somebody. That's the only difference is we just can't see her face. If we was able to see how she looks, bald headed, 13 chins out, Burger King rappers all around her, Big Macs and all that other stuff, we would go, wow, you know who that is? Exactly. It's the only difference. So <clears throat> you tease them, you gaslight them with the thought that you're staying. It's more than just tease. You flat out said that you were getting a place. You've been talking about it. But you flat out said that you was going to start your cameo. You flat out told us in March your cameo was going up. And people gave you super chats. Said, yes, FFG, thank you for starting a cameo. We can't wait. Cameo, cameo, cameo. So, FFG, is that considered a scam? When you told your audience you was going to do something and you never did? Matter of fact, after you told them you was going to do that cameo and start that cameo up and start doing these greetings and happy birthdays to these people, and they gave you super chats to encourage you to go on with that cameo shit, and you haven't talked about it ever since you received all that fucking money. So if you want to talk about scamming and lies, you might want to look in the mirror. The fact that the fact that this is that the she does this. We all watched and heard you say you was going to start a cameo in March because everybody wanted to hear you do this cameo and somebody made the cameo up for you, right? And then you and then you was like, "Okay, well they made it up for me, but out of spite Let's spite Chantel and let's do our own cameo. And you made those zombies stand up and applaud. And then it was like, do it, FFG. Super chat. Do it, FFG. We can't wait, FFG. FFG, yeah, cameo. You got all that super chat money. And then March came along and you ain't did one fucking cameo. Don't worry about it. I've been, I've been refreshing. I said, where's the cameo? Where's Shit, I wanted one. <laughs> I wanted my cameo. Shit, fuck it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I wanna. I wanted a bald headed woman to say happy birthday to me. Fuck y'all in the chat. <laughs> if I gotta pay fifty dollars for a bald headed woman with thirteen chins to say happy birthday to your boy, well, fuck it. I'll pay fifty dollars. <laughs> I needed to see. <laughs> but you lied to your audience too. You told them you was gonna do a cameo. Where is it at? You received all them super chats. Lies. You asked them for money. They wanted you to set up an Amazon wish list. You didn't want an Amazon wish list, though. You wanted your PayPal up there. Why? Because you never had any intention of setting up a house. You just wanted the money. <laughs> you scammed your audience during Ramadan. Instead of doing something for the Muslim community, instead of donating yourself, you... <laughs> Instead of doing something for the Muslim community, <laughs> this is stupid. Like, you don't even got nothing to say. <laughs> Instead of doing something for the Muslim community, what? Who Who the fuck told? What is she? She isn't a, she's an ambassador of Kuwait? What, what are you talking about? <laughs> who does that? <laughs> I'm a Christian. Do I donate to the Christian community? <laughs> Do I go to my church and say, hey, man, I got all these super chats from my stream the other day. Here you go, pastor. Come on, y'all. <laughs> this is they like these expectations of, of foodie beauty is out of control. They expect her to be this uh, saint fucking uh, Muslim, <laughs> go around, receive money and give it back. What are you talking? Nobody does that. <laughs> This is crazy. <laughs> Go ahead. You pulled a f monetary scam on your audience. Oh, Lisa during... really had the info. Let me see what Lisa said. What did Lisa say? Too bad your mama didn't read. Doesn't read the chat. Lisa really had the info. Where? What? What did she say? I'm reading it right now. <clears throat> what did Lisa say? <laughs> Lisa's a troll. Okay. Exactly. Is FFG helping her Jewish community? The community she always goes to when anybody says anything about her, you know, anti-Semitic comments being made towards her. Does she ever help out the Jewish community? Do you? No. Only when you want to play victim. You, you pull out the Jewish card. 
But when other, but you have attacked, you have attacked, you attacked other Jews in this community. You went at other Jews in this community, which is sad. But go ahead. Ramadan. I don't ever want to hear anyone tell me that this isn't a cosplay ever again or that I'm out of line for calling it a cosplay. You call it whatever the fuck it is and this is what it is. Oh. You okay. tell me anybody else who would have the nerve to sit there yeah. with a hijab, a baya on, pretend to pray on video, yeah. uh, sit there, fake read the Quran on video and uh -huh. lie to us all. And lie to us all. I don't get I don't get what it is. I don't get what it is. You're not allowed to put your PayPal and your Cash App up on your community tab? I don't get what this is. This is crazy, bro. These high expectations for a woman is out of this world when you do all kind of fuck shit. I'm expecting you to give back to your Jewish community. I'm expecting them checks. All them super chats you've been receiving... Where's that been going? Paying them rage tickets, huh? <laughs> Stop parking in fucking places you ain't supposed to be parking in. She probably parked there, got a ticket, and said, don't even worry about it. My chat will pay for it. <laughs> My chat will pay for that ticket. Fuck it. <laughs> I need $360. I'm going to rage for three hours about Chantel today. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> This woman, this woman is this woman is a fucking scammer. She sat here on stream and said the reason why I'm going hard at Chantel is because I want to pay my house cash. I want to say that again for the people in the back row. She told her stupid ass zombies the reason why I don't want to upgrade my fucking um stream. I don't want to do anything to make my stream better or the experience of watching me better is because I want to receive cash money so I can buy a home with this hate streams that I've been doing. And we're talking about another person scamming? That's crazy to me. You receive all these super chats, keep it for yourself so you can buy a house cash because you got evicted eight fucking times. And then you got the nerve the person that's buying your fucking house. And let's not even, let's not lie here. The person that's buying your house. Foodie beauty. You got the nerve to get on her for putting up a community tab or the PayPal and Cash App. Matter of fact, ma'am, you should be donating to her PayPal and her Cash App. Because if it wasn't for her, there would not be no you. And we all know that's a fact. Because every time this woman disappears for seven days, you have no content. You got to go back to the Cuba rage. You got to go back. What did daughter say? You're going to go back to the beginning. <laughs> you got to keep going back and back, back in time, like back to the fucking future and shit. Like I feel like I'm in the movie. Every time she don't got no content, what does she do? She hops in the car. She accelerates. And then she goes, she, she types in what year she wants to go to. <laughs> Let me go back. Four years ago, a foodie beauty. And she just drives right there. And she's there with her chat. And then she's commenting on something she's already commented about. That's not content. You've already reacted to it. Now you want to react to it again? And then after you're done reacting to it that time, you're going to react to it the third time. This is, this, is the, this is the worst content I've ever seen in my life. The fact that you're even... <laughs> I don't even call you a content creator. I call you a trash creator. You have not done anything original. Nothing new. Potato Thank donated $5 through Super Chat. Chantal can adopt an interest or hobby or faith. And unless she is number one superstar example of it, she gets slammed. Exactly. Thank you very much for the $5, Potato. Exactly. She has to be the best Muslim. She can't just be an average Muslim. Fuck no. She has to be Muslim of all Muslims. And she has to follow the Quran to a T. <laughs> it's crazy, right? But FFG, I mean, you're just despicable. You got no content. You're trash. You tried the Eevee thing, and he, fe he felt you was a creep. When another creator who just drives around, right, and vlogs, and you sit there and you lust over him, you and your lusty ass chat of women that can't get no. I'm sorry. <laughs> Most of y'all women 
who just sit there with your blow ups and sit there and lust after a man that don't even know y'all. And he called y'all creepy. He said y'all creepy. And you blew a fucking gasket when he said that. Matter of fact, you got so mad you called up his ex and wanted to have his ex on your stream so you can roast this man. He didn't do nothing to you. But that's what happens when FFG goes outside the box, when she tries to find other content. When she tries to find other content, she's dog shit. She got nothing. What can she say? That's why Foodie Beauty pays her bills. She got to buy a house off of this woman. And then she complains when this woman trying to make a living. I... If, if, I'm, if, if I'm making enough money, cash money, to buy a house, cash, and, I, and, and I'm doing it off the back of another fucking creator, and she want to get a little bit money on her community tab, go ahead and do your thing, girl. I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you. But, hey, that's me, though. Not, not FFG. She's a moron. And then pull a financial scam on their audience. Financial scam. Look at how they blow this shit out of proportion. A financial scam. <laughs> Doing Ramadan. Doing Ramadan. What would you call that if not a cosplay? Hmm? JP, thank you for the super chat. Idiots have patterns. Scam tell strikes again. You're absolutely right. Idiots have patterns. Well said. Miss Muerta, thank you for the super chat. She's asking for Zakat because she's poor as shit shopping from food pantries. Fair. Then ask for it straight up. Don't gaslight and lie to your fucking audience. You know what I mean? <laughs> She's telling this woman to ask for it straight up. What? When have you asked for anything straight up? When have you? When have you ever asked your audience for anything straight up? Every time you need something, you always say the reason for it is a spite. It's because we're spiting Chantel. Send me money for a fucking Gucci necklace because we're going to spite Chantel. Oh, we're going to get the breezer spray to spite Chantel. Send us the money. Spite Chantel. We're on a spite diet. You never tell your audience, hey, straight up, I'm broke as fuck, right? And I need to pay my rent. I need you motherfuckers to come through with some super chat. You never say that shit. It's always some fuck, fucking dumb shit or some sympathy that you come up with for a reason why you need to pay your fucking rent. Uh, uh, guys, uh, 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 Chantel's mad at us. <laughs> Send me some money. It's spite. It's always some bullshit. And then you want to sit here and you want to tell Chantel to be straight up? <laughs> when you're not straight up with your audience? Come on, man. Come on. Come on, FFG. God damn. She is the poor. They could have taken Zakat instead of given. Right. She'd rather scam. Spent time in Attica. Thank you for the super chat. I'm convinced Foodie is now Shani for Christ. Sounding a lot more like her, isn't it? A little, a little pull a pull a PayPal scam on your audience. PayPal Not too many scam? people uh, that I know who have done that, except for, you know, Chantal, Shani. Not too many people have put PayPal on their community tab? This is crazy. There are others, but those are just the two off the top of my head. Mm-hmm. Pixie, thank you for the super chat. The Yo eclipse Baja in court won't outshine me. <laughs> Your Baja a- Blast straight up don't pay for themselves. You're right. Why she had to leave? Mm, makes sense. PayPal, I, I agree, but that was a scam. can they do that? Will they do I don't know. There should be refunds to anybody who sent her a goddamn penny on PayPal. What? <laughs> this woman is seriously sick. FFG needs serious help. They refunds? What? Refunds? What about all the refunds you should be sending people about BBJ? Right? When anybody asks, hey, can we see a video of BBJ? And they probably gave you two to three hundred dollars. You don't show them shit. Where's their refunds at? Huh? Where's those refunds at? Oh, you're keeping BBJ safe. Here's two hundred dollars. Where's their refunds at? Huh? When they ask you, can we see a video of BBJ? And you said, fuck off. Don't ask me that. Leave me alone. I'm treating BBJ like every other pet in my family. And then two weeks later, hey, I'm giving out BBJ calendars. <laughs> this woman is crazy. Hey, pal. Uh-huh. Right. You eat. <laughs> we need that refund on that house. How long is it going to take you to get that fucking house anyway? <laughs> 
I'm asking a question. This woman's been this woman's been milking her zombies for like the last two years. What kind of house is she trying to buy? <laughs> what is that? She makes she makes about two hundred and forty a year. Two hundred and forty. That's already close to four. Taking out what we make the forty change. You make about you made about four hundred thousand dollars in two years. What what kind of house are you buying? <laughs> I gotta ask that question. This woman's been talking about buying a house for the last two, three years. This motherfucker's a, I mean, is she buying a castle? What are we doing? <laughs> this is crazy. I need my refund. <laughs> Extra toe, Pondu. Thank you. Imagine <laughs> behind the idea, she's a, oh. I don't know about that. It could, uh, listen, it could be. <laughs> I don't know. Interesting theory. Minty Misfit, thank you for the super chat. Uh, hoping anyone who gave her learned a lesson. Hi, Frenchie and chat. I'm a silent viewer, but wanted to show support. Thank you so, so much, girl. I appreciate it. Her clock tower um, dream home. <laughs> I don't think they will learn a lesson because anybody who sent her more money, I just knowing her, knowing that we've been through this before, this flip-flopping on staying in Canada, we've been through a... She's so mad that F Foodie Beauty didn't stay in Canada. This got nothing to do with the PayPal. This got nothing to do with the Cash App. It got nothing to do with that. She just mad because Chantel ain't stay near her. This is so sad. This is sad to see us a, a person that 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 ain't getting satisfied by her goddamn blow up lumberjack, right? Because she deflated it. So upset that the woman left. This is what this is all about. Look at how sad she is. She she promised that she was gonna stay. This sounds like a crazy ass ex girlfriend, right? He he promised he was going to stay. He wasn't going to leave me. And then he left. I hate him. Look, at that's how she sounds. She promised you? <laughs> oh, this is this whole thing is about. PayPal scam before. I We cry for, uh, what was it? Food and shelter? She ain't left yeah. yet. This she is not her first rodeo. Yet. Anybody who gave her money, like, sorry, not sorry, but... You're a dumbass. You're I don't want her to have that money, but you're yeah. you're dumb, and I don't feel bad that you lost that money. You know, it, yeah. it takes a special kind of psychopath at this point to support right. that woman. What are you talking about? You support her every fucking day. You advertise her channel every fucking day. You have no other content but Chantel. You advertise her every day, and when she's gone, you advertise her more by playing her old shit. Does she not understand you're the one that keeps her alive? She doesn't get that. Well, I know her audience don't get it because they're stupid. You're the one that keeps her alive. When she's gone for seven days, most of other normal people didn't even notice. The only people that have been crying and going crazy are the fucking um, reaction channels, right? Wait. Let me throw that up here. Look at this. You want to see something crazy? Look at this. Look at this sadness in the face of the reaction channel. Look at this. Look at Doe Eye. Look at her. Chantel leaves back to Kuwait. Look at her. Look at this. Hi, everyone. I've just seen the update, and all I can say is what an absolute twat. Unless she's had to go back to Canada to sign something, to get something. to have this, woman, this woman's literally at work at her Walmart. Just found out Foodie Beauty left back to Kuwait. And look it. On her lunch break. <laughs> this is what Chantel is doing to people. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I had a, I'm not going to eat lunch because I'm so angry. <laughs> hey, uh, are you going to go out with us? To, no, 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 no. I'm doing a video. I'm angry right now. <laughs> my earpiece on. If you need me back for work, I'll, I'm going to take my 30 minutes. <laughs> this is how they got. She, make, she got these idiots so fucking mad going back to Kuwait. They ain't even taking a lunch break. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm taking my 30. I'm, I'm, I'm so pissed. What's wrong? If foodie went back to Kuwait. Who? <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> Call me when you need me. <laughs> she's, she's over here dissing customers. Customer, um, excuse me, ma'am. Um, uh, where is your toothpaste? Where's? Uh, never mind. I'm on my 30 minute break. <laughs> she, Look at her. <laughs> Look at what foodie does to these clowns. <laughs> Frenchy shows us. On the doll where Foodie Beauty hurt you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> where did she hurt you? Thank you, Squirt, with the two dollars. Thank you very much. Where did Foodie hurt you? I'm tell I'm 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 serious. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. On the Chucky doll. Come on. 
<laughs> Fuck. I need my little Chucky doll. That's what it is. Shit, what's going on? Look at this. Look at how mad she is. She's angry. Go ahead. Sweet twat. Twat. Unless she's had to go back to Canada to sign something, to get something, to had to physically show up for a court date or something. Yeah. An official reason for her to go back to Canada, the absolute audacity to chuck a tantrum, fly all the way to Canada just to get your way, just to make him bow under the pressure and then fly. Why do you give a fuck? <laughs> You're a grown ass woman. <laughs> Why do you care? <laughs> the audacity of her. <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> the audacity of her flying to Canada to make him bow to his knees and then get him to be all one in her and then going back. Why do you care? <laughs> Why do you care? <laughs> Why does that concern you? <laughs> How does that hurt you? <laughs> Why did you have to take a 30 minute break to give us this? <laughs> Why did you have to clock out to give us this real quick? Oh. <laughs> These people are obsessed and morons at the same time. <laughs> Why do you care? <laughs> uh, 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 no, leave me alone. <laughs> she used the fucking break room. <laughs> she, used, she used the break room to make this fucking video, y'all. That's what's pissing me off right now. <laughs> she locked all the co-workers out. Uh, I got to do something. Please don't disturb me, okay? <laughs> I just want to... <laughs> Hey, my sandwich is in. God damn it. What's going on? I don't know. Doe Eye is having another breakdown. <laughs> She's possibly going to cut her hair off, too. <laughs> These fucking people, man. This, this is sick. I'm just showing y'all. I'm just showing y'all how obsessed and crazy these people are. And they're grown-ups. <laughs> it ain't like they're five. They act like it, but look at it. <laughs> ah, damn. <laughs> and I, she really did this on her lunch break in the break room. <laughs> she, was, she couldn't even wait to do this. Go ahead, talk to us. Just to get your way, just to make him bow under the pressure. Right. And then fly back 10 days, less than 10 days later. Okay, who cares? Crap, absolute crap. Nobody impulsively decides to sit on a plane for over 13, travel for a day, nearly a day and a half, uh -huh. just to be like, no, I'm, I'm going to stay here 10 days and then turn around and go back. Bullshit. She's <laughs> Nobody ever just flies home and then stays there for 10 days and fly back. What? <laughs> Do you hear this? Do you hear this? <laughs> I'm just showing y'all they're morons. Nobody. Nobody ever just flies home and stays for 10 days and fly back. What? <laughs> Do you hear yourself? Do you hear your... Like, these people are psycho, man. <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> this is fuck. What? <laughs> this woman can't even fly home and stay for 10 days <laughs> and then go back home. Like, <laughs> they lost their minds. <laughs> We, we wanted you to stay. <laughs> you promised us. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. They act like they're in the relationship with her. This is crazy. Go ahead. Just to be like, no, I'm, I'm going to stay here 10 days and then turn around and go back. So Bullshit. What? She's lying about something. It's absolute crap. She hates traveling. She hates moving. She hates doing anything. <laughs> this woman is dating Foodie Beauty. I swear to God, she's her mom or something. She hates, she hates traveling. She hates eating. She hates going to the movies. She hates popcorn. <laughs> oh my God, dude. You, listen, Doe I, you need help, okay? You need something to do. Matter of fact, stop holding up the break room. Let people get their lunch, okay? And go back to aisle number seven, okay? And stand there and live your fucking life, all right? This is, this is, you look pathetic. You're coming on the line and you're angry about what? What, why does that hurt you or concern you in any manner if a woman wants to fly home for 10 days and then fly back? What, why, how does that hurt you? I'm just asking. It doesn't hurt you at all. The fact that you sat in your break room and raged about it. But go ahead though, talk to me. Just to be like, no, I'm, I'm going to stay here 10 days and then turn around and go back. Bullshit. She's lying about something. It's absolute crap. Uh -huh. She hates traveling. She hates moving. She hates doing anything. Okay. Her having to go through packing 
Uh huh. Getting on a plane, uh -huh. flying, uh -huh. and then having to take care of herself nonstop for that many days okay. would be enough for her to kibosh that idea. Oh. There's no way something else is going on. What else is going she's on? She's lying. Uh -huh. And you know what? Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off she's for mad. a month. Go away. Stay away. You're not hurting anyone but your own hip pocket. And Salah doesn't earn enough money to feed. Please don't say that. Please don't say fuck off for a month. What is FFG going to do? <laughs> if she fucks off for a month, FFG's done. She's cooked. You reaction channels won't have done. Ma'am, you said fuck off for a month and she was gone seven days. And you made four videos about where is Foodie Beauty possibly at. Four videos. She was gone seven days. And you want her to be gone for a month? What the fuck would happen if Foodie Beauty left for him? Don't wish that on yourself. Stop the cap. You do not want her to be gone for a month, okay? We, I do not want to see down my timeline, where's Foodie? Where's she at? What's she doing? How uh, is Salah there? The, stop, okay? Stop, all right? You're obsessed and you're crazy, all right? Go ahead. <laughs> Feed you, let alone clothe you and house you. Yeah. So, but great plan, excellent. Yeah, gaping wide twat. What an idiot. What? Hi. That was it. That was it, ladies and gentlemen. That was the rage. <laughs> she called her a twat. She was angry. She was mad. She was very upset. <laughs> she was very upset. It's just crazy, man. These people are just psycho. <laughs> They're psycho. There's it's nothing else to talk about. Like, it's just weird. <laughs> Go ahead, FFG. Knowing everything we know about her, pattern of behavior, the right. animal abuse, the yada, yada, yada. I could go on. Squeaky Nips, thank you for the super chat. Squeaky Foodie Nips. for shit, right? Foodie for chat, Scatman. Wow. Wow. <laughs> DD, not DD. Thank you for the super chat. Addicts never want. I ain't stressing the day. Michelle. Michelle F donated $5 through super chat. Imagine being on your break and seeing this lunatic recording and ranting. I'm just trying to warm up my leftovers, ma'am. <laughs> exactly. Ma'am, can I, can, I, can I use a microwave? <laughs> Michelle, can you imagine this? Can you just imagine being at work and having a moron like this working with you? That's so obsessed with somebody over the internet, they couldn't even wait to go home to do this? They doing this in the break room? It was so important for her to go live to, 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 to rant about another woman leaving back home. <laughs> I thought this is a free country. I thought you're allowed to do whatever you want to do. If the woman wants to fly to Canada and stay for two days and then fly back to Kuwait, that's her business. I just don't get... At this point, these people are just lunatics. And then she says she want her gone for a month. We all know that's a lie. She was gone seven days. And Doe I made four videos, four full ass videos on where Foodie Beauty possibly is. <laughs> Come on, man. Want stuff. They want they the want money. That. That's right. They don't want she that. She never had an intention of staying here. What was she going to do with a bunch of shit for home from Amazon? Nothing. They don't want that. She wanted the money. Mm -hmm. uh, Miss Movie Buff, thank you for the super chat. She's not the smartest fly back and forth with her health issues, right? She is just as much as a scammer as her scat man fake husband. But see, this is what I'm showing y'all, chat. I'm showing y'all that they create new narratives every time, which which means, and why I'm here, which means when they they create these narratives, and then when you <clears throat> when you combat their narratives on this bullshit that they come up with, they go back to the old shit, right? Like if I say to FFG, dude, show proof that she's a scammer. That's not a scammer. Somebody showing their PayPal cash app or whatever, putting on that, that's their business. Whatever they say, that's their business. That's not a scam. But now she got this whole new thing. I'm going to tag Foodie Beauty as a scammer. And then when you say she's not a scammer, well, okay, prove she's a scammer. Oh, you're supporting the animal abuser. What? Huh? What, what, what are you talking about? It's a proven, known fact, and it's recorded, and a, um, and a goddamn um, veterinarian said it was animal abuse. What? Like, these people, in order for them to continue to receive money, they have to tag Foodie Beauty with the worst shit. 
and even if it's no proof or nothing, they got nothing, they'll just, they'll keep saying it to where their zombies will start believing it, right? She's a scammer now. <laughs> and it throws away all the legitimate shit. Thank you, pets, for the five gifted. When you lie about a woman, it throws away all the legitimate shit that you say about her. Like, there's some legitimate concerns you can have for Foodie Beauty and the things she does. But when they just throw shit at the wall and just throw more and more shit, that you can be like, that don't even sound right. Right? It just, it takes away from the real shit. It's weird. Thank you, Pets, again. For the five gifted. Jesus Christ. We want to hear some real shit. Now she's a scammer now. Now this is her new thing. Now she's going to run with, she's a scammer. <laughs> Fuck. She got nothing. <laughs> she's a scammer now, y'all. She's an animal abuser scammer. <laughs> God. She's scamming everybody. Get out of here, man. Spend. Now, I don't know too much about him. Everybody know I don't like him. I don't know enough about him to say if... I ain't stressing the day. G donated $4.99 through Super Chat. The reactors are the reason she is returning. True, G. Every day FB has to hear how Salah is happy now and sleeping W other women and other shit. Facts. She panics. Facts. Facts. That's absolutely true. That's absolutely true. That and that and FFG being this close to you, right? I mean, when you got a lunatic and a scary person like FFG this close to you, that's this obsessed and want to be near you and drive by you and all that other stuff like that and not comfortable enough to even stream in your house where you got to stream outside in your car and you're just not comfortable. You know, these, these, these creators made Foodie Beauty uncomfortable. They really did. You know, sending tow trucks to her home and all the, 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 the gay guy to her house and, and, and then these reactors cheering it on. Foodie Beauty going to Shannon. Shannon threatened to beat her up. Another person saying she was going to knock on her door and end it all because she said something about her kids. It makes the person you're watching very uncomfortable. It does. I would be uncomfortable if I got these people that want to just be in my life so badly, but they hate me. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. If she's better, who's worse? Da, da, da. I know enough about her to say, like, ooh, she's real bad. If he's worse than her, if he's, I don't know. Who knows? We don't know him enough to make that call. But I know her enough to say, ooh, she's real fucking bad. Real fucking bad. The nerve. Huge ass. Thank you for the super chat. Home for birthday presents and food. Rushing back to stop salad from spraying sperm everywhere. Yes. Totally yeah. agree. She came home, I would say, not knowing I think ever since the visa run to Thailand, there's always going to be that question of like, ooh, is it going to be instant? And like, yeah, to be honest with you, I don't even know. I, to be honest with you, I don't know why she's going back and forth from Kuwait to Canada. I really don't care. You know what I mean? I don't care. It doesn't hurt anybody. Her making visa runs, her going here and going there. It doesn't hurt anybody. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm. I'm impressed, to be honest with you. I'm impressed to see a woman that size, you know, 350, 360 or whatever, that size to travel so much. I'm impressed. That's impressive to me because I don't see a lot of uh, overweight women like women like her traveling. When I travel and I go places and I'm at the airport and I'm flying, I rarely see a woman that size. And for her to go back and forth and fly here and there, hold her gas, <laughs> hold her gas and still make it out the plane without spreading that. I give her I give you I give her props for that. You know what I mean? Not everybody can do that, you know, but she does it. You know, I don't I don't hate on nobody moving around or traveling. That's that's something that's that's a good thing. You know, it's not a bad thing. It's just weird. We get to go right back. Or am I going to get stuck wherever I've gone from a visa run for a while? So easy for I her go, to come back. I go hit nobody on that. Hey, hey, Kimmy with the one gifted. Thank you very much. Oh, I ain't gonna hate on nobody traveling. I, I ain't gonna hate on nobody traveling. I give them props, bro. I high five them. Good, good job. Go back to Kuwait. Come back to Canada. Go from the cold to the hot. Do your thing, man. You know, 
I mean, why can't they watch the videos for what it is? You know, there's some funny parts in Fooey Beauty's vlogs. There really are. Like the part where she held the fart to go. She had the guy told her to sit down and she she was like, oh, shit, I got to go. You know what I mean? Or she got to hold it. She was about to tear that fucking um, plain bathroom up. <laughs> she was about to tear that shit up. <laughs> uh, we're we're uh, 20 minutes away from landing. Uh, you may uh, buckle your seatbelts and everybody get back in their chairs. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, I got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Somebody just took a shit in the bathroom. Okay, we're landing right now. <laughs> Nigga would have landed on the water. But there's good parts in Fruity Beauty's vlogs, and you can laugh at and you can have fun with it. But these people, they, it's not even fun no more, you know? Because immediately these reaction channels, they just go to some disturbing, nasty, disgusting ass reaction and says something just so despicable, you don't even want to react to it, you know? You feel bad saying something funny because these people are so nasty. That's, what's, that's what killed Foodie Beauty's reactors. Real good reactors who can actually be funny and make it comical, they, they were, they've been replaced with these despicable, low-life, money-hungry, disgusting reaction, reaction channels that can't find nothing better to do but react to an overweight woman that, from Kuwait. It ain't even funny. I can, I can see some of Foodie Beauty's vlogs, and I can make fun, and I can make jokes, and it can be funny. But I don't even want to do that because the nasty shit that these people say. And I'm just like, I don't want to I don't want to add on to these nasty people. You know what I mean? Because they suck. They, they're not even creators. They're trash. They just say the same thing over and over and over and over again. And then the fact that they're fat themselves doesn't even make any sense. Eight evictions. Thirteen chins. Cut off her whole head of hair, wear track suits, and she ain't ran a mile in 20 years. <laughs> it's crazy. That's why I don't even want to make jokes about it, because I don't even want to add on to it. It would be funny, but it, it can't be funny because of these people. Where if she gets stuck, I mean, she's home, right? Maybe, uh, I don't know. I don't even want to give her the benefit. Foodie is boring how they still making videos. Talk to me. <laughs> Tell me, please. <laughs> you remember they was all pumping up the girl with the bad, with the, with the, with the missing teeth? Uh, 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 Charlie, uh, Charlie No Fronts. <laughs> remember her? <laughs> remember her? I, 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 I talked about her. Foodie Beauty put her in a community post. And then she made a video and it got 7,000 views. Her second video went down to like 2,000 2, views. And her last video went down to 700. I'm telling you, that's how it works. <laughs> they don't really give a fuck about you. <laughs> they cared about you in the moment. But now they like looking at you and they're like, now nah, we'll go back to our FFG watch. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I, I, no, maybe nothing. <clears throat> she knew exactly what she was doing when she lied to the audience and said that she was fucking staying. That's low. The whole thing was just a, a play for cash. Cherry Berry, thank you for the super chat. The audacity of this woman scanning during the most holy time for Muslims, right? Absolutely disgusting. Hope everyone enjoyed the eclipse. By the way, it was cool. Hope you enjoyed it, girl. Uh, yeah. Of all the times the cosplayer could I am pull this kind of a scam to pull it during Ramadan, I'm a big it really. Fan. Wow. <laughs> it's 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 uh. You're it's something else. Overall? It's a choice. She made yeah, a choice with this one. A bad bad choice, but a choice. Deb, thank guys. you for the super sticker. I appreciate it, girl. Stacked rack. Thank you for the super chat. She for sure used a sock to ask for her PayPal web. See, this is how she receives money. This is the scam, ladies and gentlemen. The scam is to say that Foodie Beauty's a scammer, and then people send Foodie FFG's FFG super chats saying that she's a scammer. <laughs> F Foodie Beauty is a scammer for putting PayPal and Cash App in her community tab. Thank you for the super chat. Foodie Beauty's a scammer. Thank you. Foodie Beauty's PayPal. She's a scammer. Thank you. Scam, 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 scam. Thank you for the super chat. You see that? She tags her with something, and then their, her whole zombie audience, the brain dead idiots, they go, oh, well, if FFG says that she's a scammer, well, then that means she's a scammer. Let's send her some money saying how much she's a scammer. <laughs> 
while they're you're how are you being scammed while this person is saying somebody's a scammer and you're being scammed by her saying that that's just weird <laughs> it's like it's crazy <laughs> you're being scammed <laughs> the scam is you look at you giving two dollars and saying hey well what about a uh, foodie beauty's paypal oh no scam <laughs> stupid oh you are dumb <laughs> what <laughs> well my silver unicorns thank you for the super chat oh another great point yeah lying that she was getting sand back she knew she wasn't gonna say stay thank god she didn't get sand back okay thank god she didn't get her she didn't want the cat in the first place she gave it up first thank god she didn't get her thank you <laughs> what hey she lied about us. The bam, so maybe again they'll throw a few Thank dollars God. her way, you know. Why aren't you celebrating she went back to Kuwait, right? Why didn't you say, yes, yeah, she went back to Kuwait and Sam is safe? Why why didn't you say that in your stream? Why are you so mad she left? Wouldn't shouldn't you be happy she don't got the cat? And didn't isn't she an animal abuser? You wanted her to stay and get Sam and get an apartment and stay around you so badly? <laughs> but I told you it was never about the fucking cats. I told you it was never about animal abuse or none of that. Because if it was, if FFG was so concerned about uh, 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 animal abuser with cats, then why is she mad that Foodie Beauty left back to Kuwait and Sam is now still with this um, 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 adopted parents, right? Shouldn't you be happy? This doesn't sound like a happy person. This sounds like a person that wanted her to stay. Uh, just another play for sympathy and and money from her audience. She wants to Who she wants cares? to be likable. A baby or a, a pet? Spoon. Thank you for the super chat. She says she'll give people their money back. Oh yeah. Okay. Good. I see anyone get their money back from foodie. Yeah. I, I wouldn't hold my breath if I had, you know, given her money. You're not getting. Shit. I'm moving back to Canada. Really? <laughs> Figures. Figures. She doesn't want to change the name because she's even tried to max out like the views on that video. How fucking pathetic can you be? My God, man. It's just so pathetic. Uh, Teaspoon, thank you again for Super Chat. I'm very happy that there's no getting back. of uh, <laughs> My God. Addiction. Hmm. Tawanda, thank you for the Super Chat. Total Eclipse here today in Texas. Same in Montreal. Could it have been a hog in a hijab in flight? Oh my God, that's what happened. He's missing the money to go back to Kuwait. Who knows? Look at this. <laughs> She's just so pathetic. She has nothing. She has no support over there. She has barely any support over here. She truly thinks that fake fuck of a floppy tit incel freak she's so mad is at something. Salah. And that's the only thing she's got right now in this whole ass world. She's got nothing. Hero, thank you for the super chat. Uh, so she can make it through the Kuwaiti reality. And she does know that somewhere. Nell Bell, thank you for the super chat, girl. Or, eep, fuck, I wouldn't. She's got a big mouth. She's a 450-pound death fat. Like, all eyes on her. She's not discreet. She puts all her business online. She makes a fool out of herself. And with the community, on, online community that surrounds her, I wouldn't do that. No, no, no. I'm not risking myself for that. I am financial. Love my new life as a revert, and despite not being perfect, I will get closer to Allah, inshallah. The vibe in the Middle East is best. Islamic countries are best. Who is this? Who wrote this? Who's dictating this? Now she's ran by a dictator. <laughs> it's pathetic, bro. It's pathetic. She spent, wait a minute, let me see. She spent 20 minutes on a 42-second video. That's crazy. She was so happy in that first video of her back, but as soon as she spoke to Salad, she was sad about it. He's manipulating her. Sure. Could be. Could definitely be. Here's what I think. What? What do you think? I think Chantal has absolutely nothing in life. Oh. And I mean nothing. She has a mother. This is what I wanted to hear. This is where I wanted to get to. Thank God I got to it. <laughs> Jeez. Could definitely Listen be. to this. Here's what I think. Go ahead. I think Chantal has absolutely nothing in life. <laughs> Chantel has absolutely nothing in life. <laughs> That's the woman who cut off her hair and, at 3 a.m. and double parked and got a ticket enraged about it.
And I mean nothing. Nothing. She has a mother, she has an aunt, and she has Pete's. Oh. Mm, honestly, nobody really gives a shit, but nobody really gives a shit. Oh. They got their own lives going on. Uh -huh. Pete's is a complete fucking dud. Oh. Pete's might be like obsessed and in love with her, but she can't stand Pete's. Oh. She just uses Pete's when it's convenient for her. Oh. Chantal has one thing in this whole world in her mind, and that's what? Scatman. Oh, Scatman. She's got that fake husband. I, you know what I, I really noticed, and I, and I would have never thought this in a million years, but I think fucking FFG is so jealous of this whole her being next to a man thing. Even if he's a piece of shit and he's just the worst, she just cannot get over the fact that even a man would even be in the same room as Foodie Beauty because a man wouldn't even be in the same room as her. She knows this. There's not a man on this planet that would be in the same room as FFG, not even for a little bit, not even say, hey, this is my woman, and then bounce to another house. We've never heard a peep. She can go on for screaming for five hours. She won't even get a phone call. She won't even get a knock at the door. You won't even hear nobody walking around her. Remember, she fucking screams in the middle of her living room with the laptop on the floor and all of her curtains closed. Not one time have you ever heard somebody walk in that fucking house. A man won't even fake being with her. The jealousy is out of this fucking planet. I can see if you got a man. I mean, you could be like, this nigga ain't shit because this is what my man do for me. Because you remember she tried to do that comparison when... When Salah brought Foodie Beauty flowers. And then she said, oh, look at those little flowers he bought you. I buy better flowers for myself every morning. Wait, you buy what? Buy your who? Not your man buy you flowers better than that, but you buy yourself flowers better than what Salah gave to. See, that's what I'm talking about here. FFG is so jealous that she can't even get a man to fake being with her. We've clowned her for not having a lumberjack for the last, what, seven to nine months. And not one time she said, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to prove these motherfuckers wrong. I do got a lumberjack and just got some nigga off the street and, and said, you know what, I'll give you $200 if you fake being my man for a day. She can't even do that. A nigga be like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> can't do that, baby. No, I can't do I got a reputation to hold. <laughs> can't be seen with a woman with 13 chins. I can't do it. <laughs> You can't even fake the funk. On Valentine's Day, you didn't spend time with no man. You spent time with Shannon's house. You drove way over there to spend it with Shannon. Smoked big blunts and then went home. And then you and then when everybody told this woman, and I want to say this because this was disgusting, and I was, I still have Tech nightmares. daughter about it. donated six Canadian dollars and ninety nine cents through Super Chat. Thank you very much. FFG wanted to take Foodie to look at the eclipse today. <laughs> She's heartbroken and it shows. Foodie come home before FFG gets locked up from raging. <laughs> she wanted to see the eclipse with her. <laughs> she, was, she was mad. She wanted to share that moment with her. <laughs> she definitely wanted to share that with her. She, I bet you when she went to go buy the glasses to look up in the sky, she bought two pair. <laughs> she was like, She's so mad she didn't show up with her. <laughs> she, she had to watch it by herself. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's true. <laughs> but, yeah. But you spent Valentine's Day with Shannon. And then when everybody clowned FFG for spending Valentine's Day with Shannon, you know what, you know what FFG said? FFG said the best time of Valentine's Day is late in the night. Wait, excuse me? Yeah, that's right. Later at night, that's the best time of valor. I, I still can't sleep to this day after listening to that. <laughs> just to know that, just to think, just to think that later on in, in the night, you mean to tell me this man is, 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 is piping that day? <laughs> he came over and said, you know what, baby, fuck all the flowers. You just getting a D. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I could, but you know what? Yeah, it gets cap. But I, I could see, I could see FFG just wanting that though. You know, on Valentine's Day, she doesn't want to be taken to a restaurant. 
She does. She won her Baja Blast and some D. <laughs> she won a sip on that green drink while he giving it to her, right? <laughs> Pull my ponytail, nigga. <laughs> but it's dry as fuck. <laughs> I still can't sleep after she said that. <laughs> the, the only time I need for Valentine's Day is as late at night. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was like, no, Will. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> the, the nigga just come in there. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> fuck the flowers. <laughs> I came in with the D. <laughs> I'm chopping a tree tonight, baby. <laughs> yeah. I went my hair back and forth. I went my hair. <laughs> oh, man, that's what she said. I'm a, I, somebody said enough. I got to share that with you. Because when she said that, I, I still I still can't sleep right. <laughs> I, still, I still can't. I just I just can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. When she said that, I was just like, what? <laughs> Wait, that's the that's the part. OK. Mm. She is as desperate as we all think she is. And as we've been saying for years right. at this point, she could not fucking care less about being in Canada, being in Kuwait, being whatever. She will follow him. Right. Just like when it was Koki. Although, yeah, I stand by that. She was definitely like more in love with Koki. You could see like the obsession all over her. With Koki, it was more about the guy. With Fuzz with the one month re-membership. Thank you very much. Fuzzball has become a member. Yes. It's been a member for one month. Let's go. Thank you very much. Salad, it's the situation. She never thought in her life she would get married. She never thought in her life she'd be in a position to call someone her husband. And she will hold on to that shit like a sociopath until he forces her ass away. It is what it is. Chantal walks away from no man ever. Yeah. When it's, it'll be over when he says it's over. Facts. So she's gone back to. Facts. Facts. She ain't. She ain't picking Omniara the Omniara has become a member. 16 From months. Chat. Make a total eclipse of that heart song, please. Praying gesture. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you for the six months. Thank you very much for being an awesome mod also. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks to all my mods out there. Thank you very much. Wait now. Nothing to do with her. Nothing to do with Canada. In my opinion, she's gone back. Send me, send me, a, link of, send me a link of the song on Discord. Let me check it out. Let me check it out. Send me a link to the one and only thing that she actually has in this world in her mind and that's that piece of shit over there in Kuwait. Nothing yeah. to do with her. Somebody nothing said I thought to she do was married. Canada. Thank you. So she's gone back to Kuwait now. Nothing to do with her. Nothing to do with Canada. In my opinion, she's gone back to the one and only thing that she actually has in this world in her mind and that's that piece of shit over there in Kuwait. Oh. Cindy, thank you for the super sticker. I appreciate it. Just like with Sal uh, with um Koki She's the only person who can't see what's going on here. She thinks on? to some extent there's something over there with that loser. And he's definitely not just playing her for papers, maybe a little money every month and a better living situation in general. Nope. She can't believe that her narcissism, her ego won't allow her to see it for what it is. Just like with Koki, she's the only one who doesn't see what's going on. So, I mean, I just, I just find it just so crazy that you have so much advice to give to somebody else in a relationship, yet you're not in a relationship of your own. I would think that being in a relationship expert like yourself on somebody who's telling somebody what to see and who and how they getting played and how a man is treating them. I would think that somebody that give that kind of advice would also have a man of themselves. And, and I've never heard, FFG tell us, well, you know, Foodie Beauty's man treats her like this. He, she needs to be treated the way my man treats me. She never says that. She never mentions she has a man. She wants to talk about how Foodie Beauty is being treated in a relationship, how Foodie Beauty should act in relationship, how Foodie Beauty shouldn't show her cards with her men, all this stuff, yet she don't got one. Yet she sits in the living room with her laptop in the middle of the in the middle of the living room with her laptop open with all her curtains closed. You can't give advice when you're you. You're embarrassed of yourself. We saw you at Shannon's house when you had that iPad and you couldn't even you didn't even want to show those other chins. 
You're in, you're embarrassed of yourself. When you had that breezer spray and you walked around court spraying people, you didn't want to show yourself on camera. You wanted to be behind the camera. It's pathetic. You're pathetic, man. You got these people brainwashed and thinking that you're something and you're, you're so confident and you're so strong and you're so powerful. You're none of that. You're none of that. You got nothing going on in your life. Who goes so, who goes so bonkers at three in the morning? They cut their, all their hair off. Who's 450 pounds and the only thing she wears is Adidas track suits? <laughs> it's crazy. Bon voyage, bitch. I really don't know what to say about this return to Kuwait. She's so dumb. Kuwait has done nothing positive for her at all. She's gained about 100 pounds since she's been there. She looks haggard, wrecked, miserably unhappy, lonely as all hell, far away from everything she's convenient. Well, if all of that is true about what's going on with Foodie and you hate Foodie so much and you want her to pass away and all this shit that you guys talk, why are you concerned? Why are you showing concern about somebody you said is the most disgusting person on the Internet and she's the nastiest human being on Earth? Why are you why are you sounding concerned? Wouldn't you be cheering her going back to Kuwait to get worse? This doesn't sound like that. It sounds like you're talking about your channel. It sounds like you're talking about, well, she goes back to Kuwait and 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 and, and her channel's just getting worse. No, your channel's getting worse. Because your reactions are getting more boring. You're being, it's, it's typical reaction. You're doing the same thing over and over again. One day these 70 year old women are gonna wake up and say, why the fuck am I still giving this fat woman fucking super chats? <laughs> she keeps saying the same thing. <laughs> or all of her conveniences, I she's should say. Um, she's not happy. No, she but she's not happy here either. Here, yeah, she's got her car, she's got her weed, she's got her drive throughs It's still her. She'll never... Look at how she's talking. Who is she talking about? When you listen to FFG talking, isn't she talking about herself? She got her car, she got her drive through Wait, go ahead. Watch, watch listen. She's not happy. She's not happy. She's talking about she's not happy here. Who is she talking about? FFG's talking about herself. This woman just cut all her hair off. Remember that. She's not happy. She's talking about herself. She just cut all her hair off. Got a $360 ticket for parking in front of somebody or double parked or some shit and raged on Twitter. She's talking about herself. Go ahead, FFG. Not, but she's not happy here either. She's not happy here. here. Yeah, she's got her car. She's got her weed. She's got her drive. She got her car. She got her weed. Who is she talking about? She's talking about herself. She got her Acura and she got her fucking weed. That's not enough for her. Drive throughs. Going through drive throughs. The Baja Blast. Still her. She'll it's, never be happy until she addresses her. It seems. She'll never be happy until she addresses her. Who is she talking about? She's talking about herself. She ain't talking about foodie. She talking about herself. That's why she was looking in the mirror when she was cutting all her hair off. She ain't addressed herself yet. She lying to herself. Blatantly obvious, you know what I mean? Carmen Fat Diego could be in a different country every morning of her life and still be miserable there. Booty oh, thing. Thank you for the super chat what? theory. She gets back and she's stranded. Three years of hell stuck there scavenging for food, trying to survive. Oh, my God. <laughs> then she really will uh, cry for food and shelter, won't she? Oy, oy, oy. Blobfish, thank Give you for the Give her a jet. pineapple. Oh, for <laughs> fix sake. It's insanity. She'll eat a whole one. <laughs> Absolute insanity. <laughs> it's incredible to think this is like a real life person and not some made up show, you know? Who are we talking about here? FFG, who are we talking about here? I can't believe you're a real life person and this ain't no made up show. I can't believe this. That's what I'm so confused. 
I can't believe you're a real person. I've never seen a 450 pound woman wear Adidas sweatsuits all the time with a dry ass ponytail with some steel toe slides, right? Parking in front of people at work, getting $360 tickets, right? Creating cameos from other people creating their cameos, then broke into their cameos without a password or nothing, right? Because you're a super hacker. <laughs> Cutting her hair off at 3 a.m. in the morning, stealing cats while ordering uh, Beezer spray from Kuwait just to spray it on herself. <laughs> Walk around neighborhoods spraying it on other people, <laughs> right? <laughs> Going to fashion shows with her friend, talking about she's going to knock somebody out. And as soon as that woman walks down the fucking uh, 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 catwalk, <laughs> changes her mind. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I, if I told this to anybody outside of Girl World, they would say you're lying. There's no person out there like that who obsesses over another fat woman every single day, talks about how fat another fat person is while being fat them damn self. <laughs> They'll look at me crazy. <laughs> they be like, there's nobody on the internet like that. I'm like, let me tell you. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> there's no way. You tell anybody the FFG story. Go ahead. Go tell a friend that know nothing about Girl World, about this woman. They wouldn't believe this person exists. Go ahead. They'll, they'll look at you confused. Like, no way. Show me. <laughs> Talking about, wait, what did... Oh. I gotta say, daughter put up something so fucking fire. I gotta say, daughter, I gotta, I gotta put this up. What you put up? Cause this was so fucking true. She said, "FFG." Mm. She said she put this up. She posted this up, and I gotta, I gotta. I'm sorry. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta give you props for this, Hakate. She said this right here, in on her bio. It says, "Tell me with whom you associate." And I will tell who you, and I can tell who you are. That's a fact. And guess who she associates with? A well-known racist. A well-known racist. And, and, and husband is a racist. So if you associate with a racist, then you're racist too, right? Because we all remember we all remember Shannon and we will never forget Shannon FFG this is who you associate with you hard like that that's your association and her and her husband who called immigrants you know Harry and bomb makers But you want to distance yourself now, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I bet. I bet. That was a great post. That was a great post. But anyway. <clears throat> That's not why we're here today. Because we got other crazies. This is what Just Breezing said about Foodie Beauty losing her leg. Watch this. And they're all gone. They're all gone. Do you think she will get a wooden or a plastic peg leg? I think wood would be too expensive for her. So probably plastic, right? Maybe. Oh, I know how she could save money. You know how she just gets like the plastic utensils from all the time she eats out? She can just um, melt them together and she could build her own little peg leg. That's what she could do. It's 225, Matthew. What from 380. Look at the disgustingness this person talks about. And I got to say something about just breezing. And I want the chat to know this. And I don't know if y'all notice this. I know y'all don't be paying attention to this crazy person. But I got to say I'm proud. I really got to say I'm proud. Because this person has been losing viewership. She's been losing a bunch of money. Because all the disgusting things that she's been doing on the internet is finally coming back to bite her because if you notice the people that are now watching and viewing and chatting with just breezing are a bunch of nasty people and they're broke okay let me tell you <laughs> today she tried to do queen cobra and she couldn't break 100 views 
She tried to really react to Queen Cobra, and she couldn't break 100 views. Jessica Messica got that shit on lock, right? She doing her Queen, Queen Cobra thing because she knows the backstory. She knows everything. And just breezing, tried to do the Queen Cobra thing, and it ain't working. And I've noticed her chat are new, are people that are just disgusting, and they ain't giving her shit. <laughs> She's sitting there nine, ten hours, ain't a dollar come through that bitch. <laughs> See, that's what happens when you associate yourself with disgusting people. You know, they just want to be disgusting. They don't want to, they don't want to pay you. They just want to be nasty. And the fact, and I didn't mention this the last time, and I'm glad uh daughter also uh put this post up. Um, but the fact that you posted up pictures of uh busy little bee's husband's penis. Okay, that right there, ladies and gentlemen, that right there, hold on, let me let me show it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna uh uh show show him his 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 dang dang but this is a fact what this person said right here in a tweet is a fact okay okay you're nuts for posting revenge porn okay just breezing is posting a man's penis. Okay. And I don't even care if it's public. I don't even care if it's on his platform. The fact that you bringing it to other platforms is nasty. It's disgusting. Right. And then this is your response. I covered more than what he did when he shared his dick pic all over Twitter. Thank me for my service. She wants thanks for her service of showing another woman's man's dick on the internet. She wants to be thanked. She wants a pat on the back. And it damn sure is illegal, ladies and gentlemen. If anything ain't illegal, I know one thing. Going around showing another man's dick without his permission and to use it to critique him or critique her and saying it's a it's a little carrot and all that shit that she's been doing, it's very illegal. And she wants thanks. She wants to be thanked. Now, I don't get along with Busy B either. I'm not a Busy B fan here, all right? I'm not, but I'm not going to be here showing this man's penis all over the fucking place either, right? <sighs> but she wants to be thanked for her services. And then she wants to play the victim when people attack her. She wants to play the victim. She wants to play the... <laughs> How dare you talk about my family? How dare you bring my family into this? That's what she does. But then she turns around and she does the same thing. But at the end of the day, just breezing, you finally getting what you deserve. You getting the people that you, you getting those nasty people that are watching you now. And all the people that was gentle and nice and wanted to see good content, they all dipped from you. All the people that used to pay you in your um, channel, and, and watch you and pay you for your service. And you used to do that whole dance. I got a super chat. I got a super chat. I got a super chat. Woo hoo. You know what? If you go back and watch our channel, you won't hear none of that no more. Because those people left her. That super chat, super chat shit that she used to get. Cut. They gone. They dipped. And why did they dip? Because the new people that you associate yourself with are disgusting. And you doing this now. And they don't want nothing to do with it. They like this. Mm -mm. Because I watched this woman. I ain't heard her do the song no more. I ain't heard no super chats come in and go, I got a super chat. I got a super. Woohoo! <laughs> I want to laugh at it. And I ain't heard it. I ain't heard it in, what, four videos she's done? Not one super chat. 
She got to go five, six, seven hours. Ain't nobody sent her nothing. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you, Michelle, for the $2. <clears throat> she really thought she did something. And the reason why, again, when you do disgusting shit and you do nasty stuff and you don't repent or you don't say sorry and you don't separate yourself from some of these nasty people, other people don't want to be associated with you. You want to keep those people around you? That's your thing. But guess what? Other people don't want to be a, they don't want to be a part of it. <laughs> you playing a losing game. And right now you losing. Now here she is. She's trying to pick fights. This is her newest thing, y'all. She's trying to pick fights with Queen Cobra. Because like I told y'all, Jessica Mesca is taking over the Queen Cobra thing. And just and just Breezin wants in on the money. She wants in on the Queen Cobra. So what does she do? do? She tries to insert herself in Queen Cobra drama. Here she is mm, getting her chat to go over to Queen Cobra and say that chat, um, Jessica Mesca is sniping you. And here is Queen Cobra's reaction. Roll it. I hope she rages at me. You want to keep harassing me? I'll harass you. At least I didn't spread my legs and lose my kid to the bottle. Mm. Oh, now, at least I've never been told I'm too ugly to go on stage, my friend. Keep going. Your rebuttal is, at least I'm the ugly rebuttal? <laughs> okay. Going. I never had a kid. I've never been called too ugly to go on stage. My boyfriend's never called me ugly. How about you? My boyfriend's never called me ugly. What? What are we in the third grade? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> At least my boyfriend's never called me ugly. <laughs> At least my boyfriend's. <laughs> what are we in? What are we in high school? <laughs> Oh my God! Is, is it? Are we in third period? What is going on? <laughs> At least my boyfriend's never called me ugly. <laughs> I can see her walking down the hallway, like fighting, like like slamming her goddamn, uh, slamming her locker. <laughs> At least my boyfriend's never called me ugly. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh my God! You let alcohol be more important. Than your daughter, make that make sense. Listen, bitch, rage in the tub some more, sage yourself to death. I don't care. Are you ugly? I know that really bothers you. You think you're gonna get to me with my kid? Um, why are you so ugly now? Why are you so ugly? <laughs> what <laughs> are you ugly? Why are you so ugly? You're so ugly. <laughs> You're so ugly. You're ugly. Ugly, ugly, ugly. <laughs> what? This is your get. Is this how you fire back? <laughs> You're ugly. <laughs> you don't. You don't think she knows she's ugly? She's mentioned she's ugly like uh, like a hundred times. <laughs> oh my god. Leave me alone, breezy. Why are you so ugly now? I'll keep doing it. I you will too. You're going to learn. You're going to learn to leave me alone. <laughs> no. I'm not going to be fucking abused by you. Uh-huh. How do you even find time for your daughter when you're on the internet all day sniping people? I don't know. How do you how do you manage to show your face when you're so ugly? Here What? <laughs> Is anybody else listening to this nursery rhyme? Th these comebacks like, what? <laughs> Is anybody listening to this shit? <laughs> How do you manage to come online when you're so ugly? <laughs> this is some pathetic shit, man. I don't know. How do you, How do you manage to show your face when you're so ugly? Here we both are. And you're supposed to make money on that. <laughs> Woo! 
Wow. <laughs> wow. Well, that was some good comebacks right there, uh, uh, Just Breezing. <laughs> Jesus. It's pathetic, man. That's why nobody's that's why nobody's messing with you no more. <laughs> it's stuff like that. You're not you're not good at what you do. You know, your content is bad. It's just it's horrible, bro. It really is. It's like these five year old comebacks is weird. You know what I mean? And here she goes again, getting into it with Queen Cobra. Because that's what she wants. She wants a back and forth with Queen Cobra. And the thing is, and I'm going to tell you what's happening. Because Just Breezing is falling the fuck off. So what Just Breezing is doing is, is injecting herself into Queen Cobra's drama. And what's going to happen is, because Queen Cobra is nasty, okay? I know this from her experience. Because I used to watch Queen Cobra when she only had five viewers in there. And I used to watch her and how she interacted with her chat and people that she didn't like. Queen Cobra is not one of those people who's going to have a back and forth with you. And it's going to is I know how it's going to go. I seen this woman put a person that she didn't like's whole address on the stream. And that's what she's going to do with just breezing. She's going to get so mad. She's going to start doxing and doing nasty stuff to just breezing and just breezing is going to play the victim. And then, and then everybody's going to be like, how dare her do that to you, Just Breezin? Does, But Just Breezin is going to push, 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 push. And she knows the type of person she's dealing with. So she wants to have the police back over her house so she can insert herself into this drama, which she knows nothing about, right? Um, she knows nothing about naked. She knows nothing about naked and laughing or Queen Cobra. She knows nothing about her. But she wants to get into it because she sees the money. See, Jessica Messica watched Queen Cobra way back when I used to watch her with five viewers or whatever. And we know how kind of nasty Naked and Laughing can get. And even with Jessica Messica, Jessica Messica knows that, I, okay, I'm going to react to Queen Cobra and I know she can get nasty. When the axe thing came and Queen Cobra said that she was going to uh, uh, hurt Jessica Mexico with an axe, right? Now, Jessica Mexico could have played the victim. She could have played the whole, I'm going to call the police and I want your channel knocked down and all that other stuff like that. She could have played that. But she knows what kind of person Queen Cobra is. So she's not going to do the whole victim thing because she already knows Queen Cobra is going to take it there. See, Just Breezing is the opposite. Just Breezing wants Queen Cobra to take it there, then play the victim, and then have a bunch of people Go, oh, it's going to be okay, Just Breezing. She's so nasty. That's what she's trying to do. That's what she's trying to do with inserting herself with Queen Cobra because she knows she's nasty. And Queen Cobra is going to going to take the bait and she's going to do something very disgusting. And then, well, I already tell, I already know what's going to happen. I already see it. And then, she's, and then Just Breezing is going to have police at her house. And she's like, I just had the police at my house. And they're going to, you know, because she wants to insert herself into the drama. I already know. I'm trying to tell y'all what's going to happen. She already did this. Remember she had the cops over her house the last time? Remember that? Hecate's daughter donated two Canadian dollars and 79 cents <laughs> through Super Chat. Yes. NAL got a man though. Yep. Breezy still at the Airbnb. She's <laughs> paying at $3,400 a month. <laughs> she paid $3,400 a month for that Airbnb waiting for Gorlick and Gorlick's mama. <laughs> because Gorlick said, hey, you remind me of my mama. I'm going to bring my mama to meet you. That's weird. <laughs> I never told no woman, hey, uh, your features. It reminds me of my mom. <laughs> I'd like to date you. <laughs> never. <laughs> Woo! Any woman look like my mom, I'm going the other way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it, baby. It's not going to work between us. <laughs> oh, man. What are we well, using? She's a fucking ugly cunt. <laughs> Does she make her own content? Can I ask, what are we you firsting about? What am I supposed to do first? Can you give me instructions? I don't know what we're even arguing about at this point. You're insane. Like, you're literally insane. <laughs> you know, she talks in a little... um a little nasty kid voice you wonder why she talks like that uh -huh. and uh she talks so innocent and pure and and she fucking makes money off of the back of other people when she has no content of her you know what's even more amazing about this i'm getting paid and you're not <laughs> why don't you rage about that i'm i'm getting paid and you're not 
I'm getting paid and you're not. Why don't you rate paid off of what? <laughs> She's breaking the bank with the YouTube money. <laughs> Woo! She's almost at Disneyland, y'all. <laughs> Why don't you rage about that? So literally, the bitch can lick my ass. The bitch. <laughs> Hold on, someone just got gifted a membership. I think she I can missed it. Kiss my ass, lick my ass. Don't fucking snipe me then. I really don't want to, and I'm gonna keep sniping you. Mandy, thank you so much for gifting more memberships. And oh my gosh, you are so sweet. Blue Daisy got one. Oh my gosh. And Greek girl, welcome to the breezy bunch. It was one membership, dog. <laughs> it was one. And you know what was really funny when Just Breezing told uh, Naked and Laughing? She's like, your parents support you. Wait, is this the one? Um, he goes to yeah, I'm, that's exactly. I'm sorry. Hold on. 911. She said, she told Naked and Laughing, she said, well, your parents support you. You live at your parents' house. Huh? <laughs> Ain't that what you do? <laughs> I was like, that doesn't make any sense. You dragged her for being 40 and living with her parents? And I was like, I was looking at Just Breezy like, uh. <laughs> Just Breezy's like, uh, you know what? A back house doesn't count, okay? <laughs> it's, 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 it's not the same. <laughs> I pay the water bill. <laughs> I, pay the water. I pay the electric, okay? <laughs> I'm half owner. <laughs> I own this couch. <laughs> I bought these chairs. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so funny. Oh man. Anyway. <clears throat> anyway. But uh yeah, like I said, uh I'd like to thank everybody for being here today. I really appreciate everybody for joining the stream. Um yeah, it's uh good boy Monday. Thank you very much for being here, ladies and gentlemen. Um good guys. I'm sorry. Good guys Monday. Um, thank you guys. We are the good guys. So I appreciate everybody for being here and I'll see you guys next stream. Um, I'll be streaming tomorrow. Uh, my baby's in DC. So, you know, she's, she's having the time of her life. Um, <laughs> it's about to call me pretty soon. So about to get up out of here, but yeah, I appreciate everybody. Um, thank you guys for joining. You guys have a wonderful, uh, day and I'll see you guys next stream. Peace. So that means you can lie on Vicky, right? Oh, let the misogyny flow. Let it flow on today, the Lord's Day. You liars. I can be a help for you, too. Benedicto. And Benedicted, bitch. Yeah. You, 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 you. I hope you win, darling. Come on, panel, Jen. Jan. Bring one of your penises too. He's into superstitions, black cats and voodoo dolls. So, have fun with your three inch penis. How is that boot drop going? Fans. What? And um, he's probably just jealous. Jealous of what, bitch? What What's kind that? of life do you have that I'm jealous about? Go fuck you, bitch. What can I say? Go fuck yeah. you. What can I say? Okay, go to hell and um, fucking stay there. Yeah, he's trying to. You fucking me. piece of shit whore. Uh, yeah. You dumb fucking bored bitch. Look, I'm gorgeous. I'm gorgeous, bitch. Yes. You cry about I your life. I you cry. Yes. Miserable. Yes, right. I'm sure that you exactly. told you that. So <laughs> this has never happened. Shut it. You know, you know what's crazy it. about this? Go watch Fifi. I don't know where she gets these fucking clips from. She's a stalker, I think. I ain't saying that. But she's a funny stalker. And I will talk to y'all later. Always remember to love yourself. Ain't nobody better. And be what you is regardless. And always remember, Miss Glory, love you. Bye. But until then, sit on it and twirl. Woof, woof.